$2. Okay, y'all, yeah, I'm at the who gets saddle sale. Three, 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 and get two, three yeah, for all I ended up buying a saddle for $15. Bucks. Who get two, I will show it to you in just a few minutes. I can't believe it. $2.24. Now we've got, hey, look at here. Look at this saddle. We've got a bronc saddle for a city slicker, I think. You know, we got lot number 402. It's a 16 inch saddle. You know, horn saddle here. Roll up in here and get my tear. And give 20, 30. Here and tell me, you'll be the only one here with a saddle. So like look at this these today. saddles. Who get five of them? Seven and a half. And now 10. You got to be 10. You got to be 10 of them. 10. Now 15. 12 and a half. Now 15. All for sale. $15. Look at that one. 15 dollars you roll on 15 and I'm gonna have a 12 and a half. You gonna be 15 dollars on this one. 12 and a half and I'm gonna have a 15 and I'm back here to 15 here to 15. 12 and a half. Did you beat that last time? Me? Yeah. I did. If you need me, put it on. All right. I thought I thought you did, but we'll do 829. 829. 829. All right. We have got who get ten and go there and tell them that it's in here and ten of it and a bit and a hit it in there? Who get ten of it and ten here and a bit and a hit it in here to five? Now seven, five and seven. Five and a half 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 well, I think I hit my saddle limit. Two. You can get a bit five bill. We buy I get two. You do that two to bit about a two bill. Who get two and two now? You got the others two bill. Two bill. You didn't get two to buy. Who get two to bit two? How am I going to get these saddles to the car? That's the question. We got lot number four oh two, a fourteen inch. Five seven. You five and seven and a half. Who get five? You get a bit seven and a half. I have my, walked a mile, I feel like, but I was really parked close to get my stuff in the car. So here's what I found so far. I got a old coffee grinder. This is at the Amish auction in Clarita, Oklahoma. It's always the second Saturday of the month and it's amazing. I bought these two for eight bucks crosses. I bought this for seven. The reason I bought this is to make these little cards would be great for like making cards and scrapbooking and making junk journals. So I just thought they were cute. At least I have something to do with them. And then I ended up winning not one, not two, but three saddles. The first one was kind of by accident. Now, let me tell you, in years past, I have bought two more saddles. I think one I gave away to my cousin and then I have the other one but I spent 30 for that one a few years ago and one I spent like 15 on so I got this one for like 15 bucks it's not in the best of conditions but even if you took off just the stirrups and use that to decorate with that is worth 15 bucks right there um, I did notice something cool it has like a I don't know if you can see it there or not but uh, on the other side you can see it really good there's like a longhorn cow on the um in the detail work so i don't know how old that one is or anything i got this one for i think 20 but it's a small kids it has no stirrups but i think it would be awesome to decorate with even if you decorate in the house or outside the house because we like to decorate western Anybody who knows me knows I like Western. So kind of reminds me of the saddles that I used to show horses with. And then I got an English saddle uh, for 15, I think. Maybe 10. I don't remember now. But um, my sister used to show English with uh, her horse. So. so that was kind of cool. That one will probably go outside somewhere. Who knows? So mom's really good about decorating. She's probably going to go, what in the world were you thinking? <laughs> but I didn't pay more than $50 for all three of these saddles, if I even paid that much. 
So that's what I found so far. I brought it to the car and now I'm heading back out to the auction. Um, so let me tell you, if you haven't been here, you should come. And uh, it is absolutely amazing place to be and find treasures. So uh, this is happens every year, second Saturday of the month. And uh, it's a lot of fun. I have a friend coming out to meet me in a little bit um, with her daughter and new baby. So that'll be fun. So maybe I'll introduce you to my friend, Heather. She, her and I are known each other for a long time. And even though we don't always see each other very often, because she got married and, and everything, we do get, when we do get together, it's kind of fun. But let me show you a little bit more. Um, they also sell chickens. So let me go show you the chickens and the goats and some of the things they sell here, other than just antiques. Well, if you need chickens, they got them here. Look at that. Oh, they're selling a peacock. Look at that. Look at that. She's got blue on her head and the most beautiful green leaves. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Now we're going to sell a rabbit. We got two pedigrees on the knees. We're going to sell choice of them. There's those bucks. Oh, we got four of them. We're going to set up here. We're going to sell choice. Set up choice. Got two pedigrees on top of them. That's what I like. Two dollars. Give me ten more. Ten. 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 So here's another peacock. The boy, she's in a small cage. Poor little girl. She's got a pretty face though. Hopefully she'll go to a good home that she can get out of that cage. Because I don't think that's a good cage for her. Or him. Oh, so we got chickens. And rabbits. And some more peacocks. Look at those. Those are pretty. Their leaves are not as pretty on the back as the other stuff. I don't know if that's a girl or a male. Good question. Someone can put that in the comments. If your tail of a peacock is more colored, does that mean you're male or does it mean you're a female? I never had peacocks or chickens, so I don't know for sure. So see, you can find all kinds of great things here from an antiques to quilts to horse saddles. And the funny thing is, I don't even have a horse anymore. But I used to show horses, so that's probably why I like saddles. It just reminds me of growing up with horses. See, now I don't know if these saddles are on sale or what, but they're cool. They got wagons out here that you can bid on. So if you need a good wagon, I like to have one just in the front yard of the house, but it's kind of expensive just for yard art. But yeah. So I got a little bit of everything. Let's go look at the goats. 
Look at what else I found. Aww. I'm a sucker for a good cow. Hi, babies. Looks like we got a horse for sale, too. Look at her. Or him. Sorry. Pretty, pretty. Now, when I was a kid, here's my story about Palominos. That's a Palomino. So, when I was a kid, my family raised horses. We were horse breeders. And we raised nothing mainly but Palomino horses. Palomino, it's got that beautiful kind of a whitish tan color. And we showed, my, showed Palominos all over the nation. And in 1977, my sister, who was the big shower of the family, I was pretty young. I just did the little kids' classes and things. But we had a Palomino named Queen. Now, Queen was a high-powered Palomino. So when my dad and my sister went to pick out the horse, they were going to buy a different horse that was a lot more expensive than the one that they bought named Queen. But she was a lot cheaper, and she just something about her that was special, so they bought her. And my sister began to train her to do all kinds of stuff. English class, 12 classes, regular showman classes. And in 1977, my sister won the top Palomino horse in the nation. So that's my, bra my sister's bragging right. We owned the top Palomino in the nation in 1977. Now, here's the goats. But let me tell you, that horse lived to be almost 37 years old. And when you ask, you know, what animal do you remember the most growing up? I would say Queen. Me and Queen had some great memories together. But she was a high-powered Palomino and number one in the nation. Um, but she was always sweet. I remember falling off of her a few times and she, every time you fall off of her, she'd just stop and wait for you to get up. Like, is she okay? I, you know. So that's my story about Palomino. So I love that horse. That's a beautiful Palomino. And looks like they're gonna sell a lot of goats today too. So I hope you can hear my story because it is loud, but it was a great story. I don't think I've told you guys that. So yeah, I don't think I ever told you guys about our Palomino horse and how it was the top Palomino in the nation. So uh, that was a lot of fun back then growing up riding horses and uh, showing steers and cows. So let's just see what else we can find. Hey y'all, this is a popular tent because all the stuff sold is Amish. We have Amish cheese, Amish bread, Amish noodles. Amish pies. Cheese. You said you're gonna run off and leave it. And by the end of the day, all this will be sold out. what kind of cheese they have because I'm starting back on keto. So, pretty cool. Yum, yum, yum. Papa John's ice cream. So what's cool about coming to the Amish auction is they make homemade ice cream from an old machine. Look at this. lot more tents here I'm gonna save this for another video maybe Heather and I will tackle this when she gets here 
But right now, I'm going to go sh do some other stuff. All right, y'all. I'm going to end this one. This is part two, and I'll be making another video about the quilts in a little bit. And uh, so maybe next year you'll make plans and come on out to the Amish uh, school auction every second Saturday in September. It's amazing.